If you had to, could you feed your family with what you produce? Oh, we would die. I might survive for a little while, but my kids definitely starving to death while refusing to eat vegetables. What? So I've been thinking about self-sufficiency a lot lately, but with the great toilet paper famine of 2020 and Texas losing electricity and water, uh, homesteading's looking smarter and smarter. So this year I decided to see if we could grow all our own food. Spoiler alert, it isn't going well. Turns out gardening is one thing and growing enough food to meet all your needs is quite another. So there's lots of people thinking about growing their own food. They've been buying these seed banks. Have you ever seen these? You basically buy a jar or a tin of all the seeds that you would need in the event of the apocalypse. The only thing is, is that those seeds don't grow themselves. Gardening is a skill, one that I've been practicing for years and I still feel like a beginner sometimes. Like right now, here I am sowing my hot weather plants. Ideally, I would have done this weeks ago and I did. But, hey guys, how's everyone doing? Great. Where's eggplant? She's still underground. I can hear you. She refuses to germinate. It's too cold. It's fine. Too cold. If anything, it is too hot. In fact, I'm gonna turn the fan on. No, 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 no. no. She doesn't look good. She's dead, you killed her. She's fine. She just needs a little bit of water. Now I'm never coming out. Hey guys, what happened to Pepper? It's a little chilly in here, isn't it? So here I am doing it again. I mean, really with frost date, succession planting, soil condition, pests, weather, it's a miracle we harvest any food at all. And really, I think that's because of the tenacity of plants. They want to grow, thank goodness. So how many plants do you need to grow in order to feed your family for an entire year? Well, you gotta figure out what it is that you eat, peanut butter jelly, and then work your way back to a garden plan. So for example, let's look at potatoes. How many potatoes do I need to grow to last my family an entire year? Just say Famlin? Family, my family. I don't know what a Famlin is. Okay, to find out how much you need to grow, we need to find out how much you're going to eat and then just work our way back from that. So, potatoes. Say you eat approximately five pounds a week. Times 52 weeks in a year. Means you'll need 260 pounds of potatoes. One potato plant, according to online, yields approximately two pounds of potatoes. So, to get 260 pounds of potatoes, we'll divide by two pounds per plant, which means you're going to need 130 potato plants. How many do you have? Uh, 23. 23 what? Plants, 23 plants. We're gonna starve, aren't we? Probably. What about zucchini? Okay, zucchini. You need one zucchini plant. No matter how big your family is, no matter how much you think you like zucchini, you only need one zucchini plant. Or just trust me on this, okay? To be fair, I always grow a lot of zucchini, but we do give a lot away. Which brings us to assessing and reassessing your actual food needs. For example, I have a bunch of frozen zucchini still in the freezer that we just didn't eat. And I'm not gonna do that again. And how are you planning on storing your food? Because that's going to affect your plan as well. For example, if I were to harvest 260 pounds of potatoes, I don't have anywhere to put them. Not where they're going to last. So, I'm probably going to scale back on that, obviously, and plant some vegetables that will I know will last a long time, like butternut squash. These are butternuts from last year, and they're still good. I just keep them down in the basement. There are lots of different preservation methods. Canning, freezing, pickling, dehydrating, fermenting, 
and they all take a unique skill set to do. So start practicing. You don't have to be growing all your own food before practicing these skills. I know I'm not. I've been making sauerkraut by fermenting cabbages that I bought at the store. And then when these are ready, I'll do it with them. So is there any hope for my garden? Hey, hey, don't look at that, don't look at that. Is there any hope for my garden? Do you think we'll be able to grow our own food? Let's see how we're doing so far. So here's a breakdown of different plants. How many I need, how many I currently have. Tomatoes will be going in soon. Potatoes, oh geez. Onions, I don't even know because I just threw them out there. Garlic, we're doing really good with 82 plants. Cabbages, I'm at 12, so I just sowed a bunch more. Carrots, once again, I just throw them out there, so I really don't know how many I have, but I will continue seeding these. Didn't even include in there lettuces, spinach, kale. We have a lot of kale that I'm gonna be picking. So in conclusion, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. I know that I'm not gonna hit the mark, but I'm gonna get as close to it as I can. Moment of truth. Let's see. Come on out. Oh my gosh, I can't even get it out. Come on out. Oh, the ground is like hard. Ah! Get out. Ah, condition your soil. Add compost. Don't do this. Be a good gardener. Ah. Oh, no. Get the wisdom. I grew a garlic. I grew a garlic. It's beautiful. Uh.